type that usually connects to someone's energy But you're acting used to me Don't act like you used to around me Are you getting tired of all my love? I need to know cause baby when push comes to shove I need someone around Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog I thought I'd start this vlog off because I just need to put a little bit of makeup on Not a lot, just a little bit because I might get some content today um, I think I'm meeting possibly Camilla and Milo for a walk so I've got some new products to try so I thought I would just try them out so I've already prepped my skin I've used this is new well, it's actually not new I've had it for a while but I saw somebody on TikTok talking about how amazing it was um, and I was like I'm sure I have this but I hadn't tried it because I was still using my other moisturizer um, but I tried it and it's so good. It's the Paula's Choice, which you know I'm a huge fan of. Essential Glow Moisturizer. And it's also got SPF 30. It looks like this. It's like the ready pink color. It's so nice. It, it looks almost like it's tinted, but it doesn't say it's a tinted moisturizer. But it definitely makes your skin quite glowy. Um, so I've got that on my face right now. So first of all, I'm going to put on like almost like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing sorry if that mirror is really annoying but i obviously need it to is that better okay. um just to like even up my skin tone a bit because it's not been great and also give me a bit of color so i'm going to use a little concoction of some of my favorite products basically um so this one is the peri pericone um it's like a tinted moisturizer it looks like this it's one of those ones that's almost like white-ish but when you put it on it kind of changes color and adapts to your skin um, I'm also going to put on the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter because I can't really not put this on ever because it's the best this is shade number five which is quite dark for me right now but once it blends out it gives me like a nice golden glow and then I'm also going to add a tiny bit of my Tom Ford bronzing gel this is the men's one um, <clears throat> It looks like this, hopefully that's focusing. Um, it's a men's bronzing gel, but it's so freaking good. I know they'll be discontinuing this, so I don't know if you can still get it, but honestly, it's so good. Actually, I feel like I'm not gonna need this right now. No, so we're just going with Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. You can see it's like darker. This is just incredible. So I'm gonna just put just like that. And then I'm gonna blend this in with a um this is the bare minerals like buffing brush. Okay, so you can see that's giving me like a more bronzed look. But now I'm gonna go in with concealer. This is the Marc Jacobs concealer. It's my absolute favorite right now. It's like a creamy consistency. It's like a screw up like this. Oh my God, it's almost gone. Um, this is the shade Light 23. <laughs> like that same brush blend out I kind of push this in Mark Jacobs again. Um, this is the Glow Away Bronzing Coconut Body Stick. I obviously use it for my face. I actually never realized it said body stick, but anyway, I use it for my face. Um, it looks like this. It's basically just like a bronzer, but it's like quite golden and it's not completely matte. Like it, it is matte, but it's not matte. It's not shimmery though. It's just like glowy. It's really nice. I use this Huda Beauty Dew Lended uh, brush. I take the small end of the brush, I just swirl it in the product and 
gonna do a line up here. I mean, we've got some shape because we've used the bronzer first anyway, but this is just gonna help give us a little bit more shape. And then I also put this on my eyes in like a little upward situation like this. Literally. And then I take what's left on the brush right now and go underneath my nose. Biggest thing you should do if you don't really like your nose. Um, and I also do lightly take it down the side. That wasn't that light, that was pretty heavy. And then I also go across the top here. And then taking a little bit more, I do my jaw. taking the big side to blend it out I kind of almost just push it blends out really nicely so I almost just like push dab and then I use the other brush to just go over it and make sure it's blended nicely I don't like it to be too harsh just like more bronzy rather than like contour you know I'll go back in with just a little bit of spot conceal and a little bit down the sides here and I'll just let that sit for a minute to just clean up the contour a little bit I do have this new let me show you the packaging model this new Laura Mercier secret camouflage it's a concealer stick but it's like double ended and I believe one side's more for like correcting spots and one side's more for brightening so I feel like this would be quite good. Oh, wow. That's much lighter than I thought it was going to be. Maybe we could use this to highlight our nose. Look how much lighter that is than my normal shade. Maybe I should go a shade darker. I do have a few here. Um, but that is like perfect. Oh, wow. Yeah. For highlighting here which I love to do and I feel like everyone is enjoying at the moment. Oh. Oh yeah, that's really nice. It's really lifted. Let me just blend this out while I'm here. Can you see how good this Marc Jacobs concealer is? Like, I really feel like not enough people talk about Marc Jacobs makeup or maybe I just don't see people talking about it. Oh wow, that Laura Mercier thing was so good. Can you see that highlight? I don't know if you can see it as well as I can see it in real life, but she's really popping. Okay, before I put any powder on, I'm gonna go in with these, which are new as well, and I'm loving them. It's Trini London. These are the two, they sent me a few bits, but so far these are my two favorite. Um, I don't know why I've put this one back in the box, because I've used it loads. So this one is a blush, it's a cream blush, looks like this, and this is in the shade um, Schmoogie, and then the other one is a cream bronzer, I just love cream products, and this is in the shade, I don't know what that says, Sawala, so, hold on, so it looks like this, and it's in the shade Peanut Snoring. So, it's like koala but sawala maybe um i love these so much like it's just so glossy the blush is a tiny bit more matte but i just really like it it's like a really nice consistency so i'm just going to dab this on up here this is the blush obviously not too low that went a bit too low actually just for that nice flush healthy glow a little bit on the nose and then I'm gonna go straight in with the bronzer it's such a nice I don't know if you can tell but it's like super glossy can you see that oh it's so nice I really like it on my eyes 
look how glossy. Oh, it's such a nice colour and it's super gloss. I need to blend this out. <laughs> I could do it with the tissue for my finger as well. So well. Um, same brush. First, get out of this bar, then the hotel, then the city, and then the country. Are you in or are you out? I'm in. Okay, so yeah, loving these Trini London products. I'm excited to try some of the other stuff. Okay, time to put some powder on. The powders I use right now are both Charlotte Tilbury ones. Um, they're the same powders, the Magic Loose Powder. This one is in Fair, and this one is in Tan. Um, I just really like them. I think I like them because they're not super matte. They just like powder you like you need, but they're not super super matte so this is what the fair one looks like it's got a slight pink tinge to it i don't know if you're going to be able to really tell that on camera but it does and i just take a light dusting wherever on this raw tennis brush she says light dusting as it shoots out I put more obviously on problem areas but not a lot under my eyes I basically just take the excess under my eyes and my forehead I feel like my chest probably looks really pale right now but don't worry we go and fix that take the tan one which is this colour. Just shake a little bit onto the lid. And then I take a fluffy brush. Mm, this one or this one I use, the Real Techniques or the Benefit like Bamboo Hula one, which is what I'm gonna use. Um, so I just take what's ever in the lid, swirl my brush. I just put it everywhere. I just put it everywhere. There's way more in there than I thought. Okay. <laughs> swirl it around, dab it off. Mm, I just lightly go. This is obviously technically a setting powder, but I use it almost like a bronzer because I really like the shade. And as I said, it's got that slight luminance to it. It's not super matte. Okay, brows. I love, love, love this Laura Mercier brow gel. So good. You wouldn't really think of Laura Mercier to do brow gel, but it's honestly really good. So I just run that through my brows. And then I just kind of push them up a bit. Like, can you see the difference already in those two brows? I feel really naked, I've got no earrings in. I do have the new Huda Beauty brow pencils. So I'm gonna go in with one of those, let's try it out. I've got medium brown, I've got light brown, and I've got rich brown. Mm, I feel like rich brown looks the darkest, but I'm just gonna see if it's too warm, because I don't like warm. And rich to me suggests it's warm. Wow, it's so thin. Can you see how thin that is? So thin, the pencil. Don't want to push it too far up. Oh, nice. Mm, it does look a little bit warm, but super thin strokes you can get. So let's try that. I feel like I need to bring this mirror a bit closer. So don't mind the mirror for a minute. Wow, so fine, that's so good. The brush is nice too, actually. So I'm just gonna fill in. 
feathery and natural I usually go in with another layer of brow gel just to make sure they blend really nicely um, but yeah I think that looks really good if you like that kind of more natural feathery look you can definitely achieve that with this great have some good finds today Okay, then lastly for mascara, I've been using, I've actually been using this, which I wouldn't say is like a crazy, like, lengthening, thickening mascara, but it's the Rapid Glam, which you know is like a lash serum, or eyebrow serum, whichever one you get. It's a really good lash serum, and they now do it in a mascara, so it's basically got the serum. So yeah, I've been using this, because obviously, benefits and all. I actually quite like no mascara like I like that look so like super natural so that is all I put on and then finally just the lips I trust you Marc Jacobs nudist liner it's just the best it's honestly just the best liner I just go lightly And then if I'm wearing something that you're going to see my chest, I mean, I don't know if it looks, in real life it doesn't look that bad, I don't know how bad it looks in there, but it looks alright. But if I need to, then I've been using this, which is so good, it's by Terry, and it's called Tea to Tan Face and Body, and it is a hydro bronzing, like a spray. <sighs> so good, so it just comes out literally like a spray, I'll try and demonstrate on my hand. Like literally like that, but you just spray it. Oh my God, it smells so good. Can you see? Like instantly I've gone brown. Um, I mean, look, I have strap marks from the tan. <laughs> um, I do usually blend it in, but I think I've done a pretty good job right there. So I'm not gonna, oh my God, this, I'm gonna blend in here though. But as I said, only if you need to, but now we match much better. So, loving that. I'm just going to use a wipe to get that off my hands so I don't have to leave you and go to the toilet. So we are done with the makeup. I don't really use setting spray right now. If anything, I would just use like a um, moisturising spray. Um, Favourite ones right now is the Chanel Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. And I'm still loving the Fasali one with the gold bits in it. Um, yeah, I don't use like an actual setting spray. I just don't feel the need, personally. I need some lip balm. This is my go-to lip balm right now. It's the NARS Clean Cut. It's just literally like a lip balm. Okay, I'm actually gonna just put some earrings in. What should we go for? Oh, this is my new jewelry. Jewelry box because before i just had everything everywhere and it was so messy and i couldn't find anything so i got this box of amazon and now everything's like super organized it looks really nice do you want to see so this is what it looks like so it's just like this and then you open it like this and then i have all my rings down here just put all my rings down here like so and then i've got some earrings got some necklaces hanging up there and then this bit lifts up and then there's more underneath super cool so i'm going to put on this necklace this is like my go-to at the moment it's really nice um and then i just need to put some rings on so i will put on um probably this one this one this one this one Mm, this one, maybe this one, 
And then what earrings should I put on? Should I go big or... I might go these. I quite like these little ones. So those. With maybe some little ones behind them. Like these. Okay. Um, right, so this in my first hole. I really want to get another hole. My third hole's closed up, annoyingly. And I really miss it. So when everything opens back up, I'm going to go get it re-pierced. So these two. I still feel really sweaty. I did a, we've just got a, like a Peloton bike, but not an actual Peloton bike. We just have the Peloton like app membership thing. And then we got like a cheaper version of it um, to try it out first, but we do really like it. So we think we might just go and get the Peloton instead. Cause I think the Peloton will be better. Although this one is absolutely fine. Um, but I just did a class this morning. I feel like whenever I do a class before I get ready, I just can't shake how hot I am still. And like, I just feel, even though I've obviously showered and stuff, I just still feel really hot and sweaty. Um, okay. Yeah. And then rings. This one goes on this finger. And then we put this one and this one. And this one on this finger. This one on this finger, and this one doesn't fit. I don't want to wear it on my wedding finger, but it doesn't fit. It only fits this one, that's too many. Um, okay, we just won't wear this one. I do like this one though, because it's got like a little dark green stone in it. But that's cool, we put her away, we'll wear her tomorrow. Eh. I can still smell this Viteri body stuff on me. Honestly, it smells so good. It's like coconutty almost, but also like sunscreen. Like it tastes like summer. Tastes. It smells like summer. Like it literally smells like summer. Talking about smell, my favorite perfume that I wear all the time now is this Louis Vuitton. It's the Sab Sable Roses. I don't know if that's how you say it. The Sab. Someone who's French. Can you tell me how to pronounce this? Um, Les Sable Roses. But I can't say roses with an accent. R R roses? <laughs> Les Sable Rose, maybe. <laughs> wow, I don't know. It's this. It's so cute. It's got my birthday engraved on it, which is super cute. But it is honestly the most incredible perfume just ever. It's just, just a fucking dream. It's honestly just a dream. It's so good. You need to go. If you go into a store, or if you're buying anything on the website, then get a sample. It's just phenomenal. Like, I just cannot rate it enough. It's just the best perfume. Like, for me right now, the smell is just incredible. Okay, I did my hair, but I'm so used to wearing my hair up now that when I wear it down, I just find it so uncomfortable and I just put it back up again. So that, that was great. Um, I might put it down again in a bit. <laughs> Um, I've got changed again for like the fifth time. Fifth, fifth. Um, I'm just waiting for Camilla to meet me downstairs to take the dogs for a walk. Um, and then maybe when I get back, I will tell you my favorite fonts. Cause I know you guys want that video, maybe. Um, or maybe that's a whole video in itself actually. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed me doing my makeup cause I haven't done that in a while. I'm standing on the balcony because it's such a nice day. Like, it's so blue, look. Wow, it's so bright, it won't even focus. It's like proper blue, blue sky, sun's out. So yeah, walk is needed. <laughs>